My music in three words, uh, country, traditional. Um, I got a little distracted with Carl tearing down the set. Such a diva. We're gonna have to ask you to leave. Yeah. Hey y'all, I'm Riley Green, and this is my song, Damn Good Day to Leave. Girl, I always pictured you'd be pouring down rain. With old Hank singing some song about train. I've always enjoyed music. It was always a really fun hobby of mine. I love playing guitar. I got a passion for writing songs kind of accidentally. I was playing cover shows and got tired of playing the same songs every night. I think I was on a roof in Alabama decking plywood when I decided I think I'd like to make music uh, what I do for a living. I never liked heights, so I wanted to get off the roof as quickly as I could. You only like heights when you're at the top charts, right? That's right. Pocket full of three day weekend money ain't a heartbreak cloud and a full cast honey. I had some songs that, that kind of helped me get a start in my career before I'd ever been on a chart. For me, I wrote to the people I saw every week on the road, and sometimes it was in a coffee shop or a barbecue restaurant, and they were trying, just trying to eat, you know, and I'm just in there making noise. But I think I learned how to write songs that I thought would, would make people feel something. And, you know, I'm not the greatest singer in the world. There's a lot of people that are a lot more talented than me, but nobody can write a song that I can write from where I write it from, from that perspective. So it kind of gave me an idea that maybe I had a way to set myself apart from everybody else. Now, without you here telling me how, guess it could be worse. The 75 degrees. You picked a damn good day to leave me. Sitting here, cooler full of keystone. Nothing to do but fish all day long. I grew up listening to Merle Haggard and George Jones and my granddaddy Buford and trying to keep some of that sound, whether it be steel guitar or fiddle or banjo or mandolin or whatever it is. Keeping that in my music and trying to keep that alive a little bit is something that I'm pretty proud of. Damn good day to leave. We put out a brand new album, This Ain't My Last Rodeo, this fall. It was a really cool experience to get to record a full album. I've never done that before. We put out an album before, but it was released in several EPs and singles at a time. So it was a different process. And I think creatively, it allowed me to kind of write towards a full project. And I think it made it one of my most well-rounded pieces of music that I've done. How am I gonna do anything now without you here telling me how? Guess my headline tour, this ain't my last rodeo tour, is something I've been looking forward to for a while. Production is a lot bigger. I think we've got three 18 wheelers and four buses out there. Like it's a pretty crazy thing, but it's it's exciting to see how big it's gotten and to see fans that you know some of them have seen me play in little bitty small honky tonks are now getting to come to arenas and see me play, and they were kind of long for the ride with me. I hate to see you go, but if you ask me, you picked a damn good day to leave. Getting on stage and having the crowd singing back to you, I always say is like hitting a home run or scoring a touchdown. There's a lot about this lifestyle that's tough, traveling, being gone a couple hundred days a year, and being on a bus, and that makes it worth it every night when you get to sing songs you wrote about your life and people make it about their own life. But Channel 8's about the marathon, John Wayne. You picked a damn good day to leave me sitting here cooler full of keystone. I never thought I'd have a song on the radio, a number one record or a ACM award or have a relationship with some of these artists that I grew up being such a big fan of. You know, we got Tracy Lawrence is on tour with me right now. And it's just a, a really cool thing that, that country music's allowed me to have the opportunities I have. And it's hard for me to have a whole lot more goals. I think I just love to write songs that, that people, you know, can relate to and try to get better at it and uh, keep putting out music as long as people want to hear it. Damn good day to leave.